today our problems deal with calculating the slope of a line. This is very close, very similar to what we've done before, as in the section before. And today we're going to do it a little bit more mathematical. Yesterday we calculated the slope by counting on the coordinate plane from one point to another. Well, today we're going to actually use those coordinates just to mathematically figure out what the slope of any line is. So if you look at the end of the section in your note packet, after the four examples that I have here for the, the four exercises, I have an equation. I'm going to put that equation right over here on the right. And I'm going to keep that up here. Uh, usually when you are talking slope, you use an M. Uh, that is just the classically done when you're talking about slope. And we'll talk about these in just a minute. So let's jump into exercise number one here. We want to find the slope of this line. All right. And just like I did the other day, we're going to take actual points off of this line. So I want to look for some points that cross right at where you know two grid lines come together so I can get a good coordinate to work with okay so I'm gonna circle these I'm gonna circle this one down here alright this is the point if I count over that is uh, negative 3 comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 comma negative 6 so, so that is one of my points I'm gonna use that is that point right there okay and I'm going to increase my brush a little bit here so it's a little heavier. Okay. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find another point that, that crosses right at where uh, two lines come together. And it looks like this one right there. That crosses right on the grid line. That is the point 1, 2. Okay. So those are the two coordinates I'm going to use. And as soon as I find those two coordinates, now it's just simply plugging into this formula. All right, so let me switch over here and show you. I want to put uh, what what are these these uh, y sub two and y sub one mean? Well, in every coordinate, your x comes first and your y comes second. All right, so if I go down here, this is my first coordinate that I that I wrote down. This is going to be my first x coordinate. So that's going to be x sub one, and this one is my y coordinate so that's going to be x or y sub 1 all right and up here this is the second coordinate that i was dealing with so this is my x coordinate in my pair here and this is the y coordinate in my pair so that's going to be x sub 2 and y sub 2 all right so now i just plug in i just plug in to this uh, this formula, the coordinates that I have. All right, so y sub 2 is 2, so I'm going to write m equals, and all I'm doing is taking out y sub 2 and plugging in the 2. All right, and y sub 1 is, that's the one down here, that's negative 6. Now, be careful with your negatives. It's not minus 6, it's minus is negative 6. All right, over and x sub 2 is 1 and let's see x sub 1 is right here negative 3 so again minus a negative 3 alright and now let's just simply do the math there's no algebra to it let's see 2 minus a minus 6 well that's really 2 plus 6 and 1 minus a negative 3 that's really 1 plus 3 so I get 8 over 4 and if I can reduce it, reduce it. Sure, that's 2 over 1. All right. And a lot of times I, I, I leave the slope as a fraction. So you can leave it as 2 over 1 or you can leave it as, as a 2. Okay. So there's my slope of my line. Again, I just pick two points. There are two coordinates that are right on the line, right where these, uh, these grid lines cross. And I use those coordinates and I plug it into this equation up here. And really, that's it. All right, here's exercise two, and uh, the question is the same, same as exercise one. 
uh, they want us to calculate the slope of this line. So I'm going to find some points that are on the line. And it looks like this one right here, I like to use this one because this has a zero in it. And I like dealing with zeros because those are usually easy to deal with. So that point right there, if I count over, that is negative 4, comma, 0. There's one of the points I'm going to use. All right, and I'm going to go over here, and it looks like, looks like to me, this one right here is right on the line as well. That is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the point 7, comma, 4. All right, so those are my two coordinates I'm going to use. And I'm going to go M equals, okay, now i got to plug in my values. Y2 over Y1. Well, let me, let me label them. Okay, we'll call this one the first coordinate, and we'll say this is x1 right there, and this is y1 right there. Okay, and this is over here, this is my second coordinate, so this is going to be x2 and y2. All right, so I've got those set up, and I just simply plug in to where they go in the, in the formula here. So y2 minus y1, that's going to be 4 minus 0 and x2 minus x1 again be careful of the negatives minus a negative 4 okay so 4 minus 0 is 4 and 7 minus a negative 4 that's actually 7 plus 4 so that's going to be 4 over 11 all right so and I, and I can't reduce that so you just leave it the way it is, there is your slope of that line, 4 over 11. It's that easy, guys. All right, let me switch over here to, let me turn that one off and turn this one on here. Here's another one. Uh, we want to calculate the slope of the given line. Now, remember from yesterday, the previous two exercises, those were a positive slope. Let me turn them back on again, see how that one went up to the right. So that was a positive slope, and that one went up to the right. That was a positive slope, if you look back at what we figured out here. Now this one, this one goes down to the right, so I should get a negative number. If you don't get a negative number, you d you've done something wrong here. So let's find our points, okay? I'm going to go with this point right there. That seems to be the point negative 3, 5. That is negative 3, comma, 5. Okay, I'm going to write that down there, and let's pick one over here. Looks like that one looks very good. That is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, huh? Over 5, and then down 5. So I've got a bunch of 5s going on. That's okay. So we're going to plug it into the formula, m equals, and again, I'll, I'll label them for you. Okay, this is going to be x1, and this is going to be y1. This is going to be x2. And this is y2. All righty. And switch back to blue. And what do we have? We have y2. That's going to be negative 5 minus y1, which is 5. x2 is 5. And y1 is a negative 3. All right. And now I just have to do the math. Negative 5 minus 5. That's going to give me a negative 10. And 5 minus a negative 3. That's actually 5 plus 3. And 5 plus 3 is 8. All right. Now I can reduce that. I'm going to reduce that. And a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So I'm going to write it like that. Uh, 5 over 4. And there is my slope for that one. Okay. So again, it went down to the right. So I was supposed to end up with a negative, And I did. I got a negative 5 over 4. All right, let me turn that one off, and let's turn this next one on here. Oh, now this one is different. It doesn't go up to the right. It doesn't go down to the right. Well, let's see what happens when we figure out slope for this one. Uh, let's pick, I'm going to pick a point here. I'm going to pick that one right there. That is the point 2, comma, 0. And, whoa, no, not 2, comma, 0. No, that's 2, comma, 3. Oh, I'll take that off. All right, that's 2, comma, 3. And how about I take this one right here? That is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, comma, 3. Okay. So easy enough. Let's plug them in. All right.
right? And uh, again, I'll label them for you. Here's x1, y1, and here's x2 and y2, all right? So let's plug them into the formula, and looks like the y's are the same, so that makes it very easy. That's just 3 minus 3 up there. And the x's, those are, that's going to be 7 minus 2, and well, 3 minus 3 is 0, 7 minus 2 is 5, and huh, well that, that's pretty easy, 0 minus, or 0 divided by 5, 0 divided by anything is 0, unless you're doing 0 divided by 0, we'll talk about that at another time, but 0 divided by 5 is just 0, so the slope of this line is 0, and if you remember, if you remember, uh, back, a while back, we had the uh, horizontal and vertical lines, right? This is definitely a horizontal line, okay? And any horizontal line, I want you to jot this down on your, your note packet here. Any horizontal line, you actually don't even have to calculate the slope because any horizontal line, the slope equals zero. Okay, that will always, 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 always be true. Okay, so uh, hopefully that went well. Really, it is about using, uh, let me turn this back on here so I can write up there. It is really about using this formula over and over and over and over and over. Okay, so if you can get that down, you are good to go for figuring out the slope of, of really any line. All right, so take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.